Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to try to do some self-defense experiment where Dylan is going to be my attacker and I'm going to try to defend myself against knife. So in this video we're going to have a three different scenarios and each of them have a two different versions. In this experiment I'm going to wear a white t-shirt and Dylan instead of knife going to use different colors of markers. So we're going to see how many times he can get me. So let's get, let's started. get started. Of course in real situation you should give your wallet, give your phone if he asks about this. Give your stuff and run away. You should not go to the fight when somebody have a weapon with him. So in our situation I cannot run away so you have to do something and survive it. So in the first scenario Dylan want to hurt me but he don't want to kill me so he's going to use orange marker in this situation and the first situation is that I want to avoid him and yeah I just want to survive. <laughs> okay. So we finish with the first situation. And as you can see, he got me many times on my hand because I tried to avoid his arm with knife and on my chest you see a lot of spots, on my belly, but still, actually it's not that, it's not that many and actually this kind of spots I could survive, maybe not belly, but, but arms. He didn't get to like really dangerous area where I could die instantly. <laughs> so let's go to another situation when I'm going to try to fight back when I know that he have a knife and he want to hurt me. This time I'm going to be green corner of marker. Let's get started. So now we just finished the second situation, this scenario, and as you can see also, I get a lot of marks on me, also on my hands, even I have uh, gloves, <laughs> and I, but I tried to catch his arm, so yeah, it was also kind of dangerous for me, because I cut myself, and in the end, when I tried to grab his arm, we go to the ground, and he starts strangling me and starts stabbing me in my back. So he was smart on his, his side and yeah. And one thing which I discovered after first fight that I forget that I've got legs, you know, that I just use the knife. With second round you could see that I use the knife and I use a little bit of brain, that's why I throw out the knife and strangle him. I also see this after our this experiment that normally when you have a weapon in your hand you want to use this weapon so 
you can forget about your second arm, legs and other techniques because you have a knife and you move on, focus about the knife that you want to stab him, slice him, everything because you have a weapon so you have adventures in the situation. Yeah, but we can see also that accidentally he stabbed himself. <laughs> I almost lost the eye, you know? Yeah, That's because he tried to do something, I, I just push it and he he get knife in his face too, so... Yeah. You are not total safe yeah. when you have the weapon. Yeah, because when you are attacker, as, as was now, that I try to block his attack and... And it works. And it works, and he stabbed himself, so... <laughs> yeah, let's go to another situation. So 25 against 1. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I died many times and he... He have a sexy scar on his face. So let's go to second scenario. Second scenario is that Dylan want to kill me. And in the first situation, I'm going to try to avoid it. And the second one, I'm going to try to fight back. Motherfucker, I want to kill you! I will kill you! So now we finish the third situation and as you can see he, again I get a lot of marks on me and when now when Dylan is allowed to kill me I think he instantly he choosing the spots where it's easier to kill before he tried to stab me or slice on me in more gentle way gentle way right now i really don't care i just go for it and I, you could see it's just like really short fight compared to the before yeah and now he just more went to me and actually I, I haven't seen his arms because he was that close that i i knew that he had a knife yeah. but i didn't know where where <laughs> and as you can see when he starts stabbing me on my side i try to protect myself but he still many times even Oh, okay, I didn't throw. Yeah. yeah, but I tried to, I, I felt that he stabbed me many times in the side, so I put my elbow, he stabbed a few times on my elbow, but still he go through. So even I knew that he attacking me, like, really badly, I tried to survive, but I didn't. Yeah, let's go to another situation. Bang. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, so now we finish with the fourth <laughs> scenario and also I get many many spots on my t-shirt and yeah even when I can fight back I know I can fight back and he's ready for this I am not focused about hitting him kicking him or whatever because I still thinking that this is a knife and he might kill me so I'm more focused about this arm with knife and not about focus that I can maybe I can knock, knock him out by one shot but still this hand is more dangerous so I am focused about this and yeah you can say about your yeah. technique uh, on the beginning I was focused just to hurt him so I just pointed a little bit now when I want to kill kill him and he fight back then I really don't stop myself so you could see like really deep cuts on his back on his belly everywhere and I think I, I managed pretty nice job. and as you can see actually the first two scenarios was like a dot but when he want to kill me he make a dot and slice go deep and when he go out with his arm he's still sliding my belly so 
Yeah, he want, he want to be sure that he kill me. <laughs> so let's go to the last scenario. So in the last scenario, uh, I am the attacker and Dylan have a knife and he want to protect himself or his house, apartment or family. Because I am an attacker, I came in the middle of the night to his apartment and he just grabbed the knife from the kitchen and he just tried to keep me away. <laughs> So, let's try it. Go away, man. Leave me alone. Go. Go. Go, please. <laughs> so we finish with the scenario when I am attacker and he have a knife and from my observation it's quite difficult even for me when I'm attacker it should be easier for me because I want to do something but I am so much focused about the knife because even when he is scared because I come into his apartment in the night he is scared and I am scared because he has a weapon. I don't want to kill him, what he's doing. Go away, man, go away, leave me alone. Go, go, go. And it's, it's really difficult to get close to him because he all the time going back, backwards. And in my mind, he going backwards, but he can also jump fast to me and stab me or something. So even that he just interrupt my house and I try to protect my family myself and I don't want to kill him. I hit him a few times in, in his like arms under when he tried to grab me and another thing it's also difficult to to don't like kill him like, like it's really difficult because I don't know what he's gonna to do and he don't know what I gonna to do because yeah. he's dangerous because he's aggressor I'm dangerous because I've got the knife and I'm scared it's like we both are afraid to each other because yeah. I'm afraid of his knife on his hand and he's afraid of me because it's my I'm house. a stranger and I just yeah. went to his house. So this situation looks like it's really simple and easy, but actually it's not because it's we both... We don't know what will happen, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So my mission is to take this from his hand and his mission is protect himself or his family or everything. And so we have a... Yeah, it's, it's really yeah. hard machine to do it. Okay, so in the last scenario is the same like before that I come to his apartment in the night and he grabbed the knife in the kitchen and now I'm not scared. He is not scared. He know what he do with his knife and we are both the attackers. So we'll see <laughs> what's happened. I think I'm going to get a lot of marks on me. <laughs> okay, so Let's go. Let's go. Man, go. Go from here. Go from here. No, no. You wanna die? You wanna die? Die! So in this situation, he used a purple mark and again, he killed me a few times. And I was in scenario, on the beginning, he tried to keep a distance, tried to stop me without hurting me. But because I still go forward, he had to protect himself and he started attacking me. 
And this scenario was like, I think, quite difficult because on the beginning I felt kind of safe because I was the attacker. And even when he had this knife and I was focused about the knife. And when I come close and he started going to me, I just lose all my plan from my head. <laughs> and yeah, you saw it how, how it was. And I just go, I just go for it. I just want to kill him, so. Yeah. On one point I grabbed his arm because I thought like, okay, maybe I can sweep him, but he, he did it before me. <laughs> so we end on the ground, and when I was on the ground, he had a kind of like Hollywood fight Bye. scene <laughs> that we, <laughs> we, we try ourselves who is stronger, but I don't know how, what's happened, but... I just released the pencil grab with second hand, Oh yeah. and then I just... He started stabbing in my... Yeah. I see get to yeah. my heart and my belly and you see on my hands also that is a lot of purple colors because I try to catch his arm but I see that he got also some marks so he cut himself also and yeah that's how it is so yeah okay so we're done with this experiment it was a very interesting experiment because it was my first time with this kind of situations and even it was the safe environment I didn't feel comfortable when I knew that he can stab me even it was just a marker not knife so yeah for me also it was really nice experience first time I tried to kill my friend or like protect myself with knife it's really funny experience so yeah. if you have an opportunity you can try with your friends but be safe use markers not knives and never 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 ever <laughs> never ever <laughs> fight with somebody who have a knife and don't be the guy who have a knife and attacking somebody <laughs> and killing people is bad And my t-shirt looks like this now. So it's a piece of art now. <laughs>